Hello mate and welcome back to another Das Studio post work video. In this episode we're going to be editing this render that I did during our live stream on Sunday. So stay tuned and let's see if we can make this image look even better than it already does. So the first thing I want to do is I want to fix this. This writing here, it's the wrong language. The game doesn't take place in um, Russia or I assume that's Russian but it could be something else around there so we're going to get rid of this and we're going to see if we can do something about it so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new layer there and then I'm simply going to grab the spot healing brush and I'm just going to paint over it like so and with any luck as assuming I collect sample or layers I should be able to fairly easily just remove that from the scene like so there we go but if I turn this layer on and off I can still fix it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to just drag out some text there and now I'm just going to type in uh, I don't know something like I'm going to change that text color to white for now I'm going to adjust the font size now font wise let's have a look and see if we've got anything that's going to rep look vaguely right I mean that one looks okay there are other way, obviously other ways we can do this. We could download a font specifically for this, but to be honest, it's not a huge detail in the scene. It's just one of those things that if somebody were so inclined, they might look at it and think that it's strange that... See, Corey is an obvious answer, but it's not bold enough. Someone, someone with a mind to might look at that and find that it's slightly weird that there's a, a Russian ammo crate in a scene that doesn't take place in Russia so all right well that's bold enough so let's just change that we're in it's regular already we want to squish it down in its character we want to there we go that kind of thing and if we turn off this layer we can actually match it in height wise but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stretch it and squish it and uh, use perspective on it as well so what first thing I think I will do is I will set the text color to is that the right color let's see if we can get a bit brighter there we go okay so that matches it slightly better and now we can yeah that looks pretty good from for what we're trying to achieve I'm actually thinking that now maybe that's too bold failing that we can always go with Helvetica Noi and just make it that kind of font that looks okay height wise we're not too far off where we need to be but obviously we need to squish it a little bit more but we can do that afterwards so we'll just squish that down right now that's cool okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna rasterize this text so that we can work with it a little bit more easily now I can stretch it and skew it so let's just move it to there and now I can adjust it size there and then if I press shift I can pull that in to there and then I can pull this in a little bit more like that I don't think we need to actually looking at it let's, let's hit enter on that let's give it a perspective morph or a transform so it's going to be going downhill like that slightly on this side and then we can control T shift that in now if I turn back on this layer we can see if that looks right or not it looks a little bit ski with so we'll just edit that perspective again now we can see what we've got so we can actually just fix that so that it looks like it's more aligned let's have a look at that that looks a bit better and now we can change the screen mode we can see how that's going to look being color dodge maybe and then what we're going to do is we're just going to blur it ever so slightly so that it fits back in so we'll give it a gaussian blur i'm going to try one pixel One pixel probably going to work. Maybe color dodge won't be appropriate. 
we'll stick it on screen and we're just going to turn the opacity down ever so slightly and then if we come back out here and press control zero it doesn't look perfect but it looks better now that at least it's in english and not on russian happy days and the average person is going to look at that and they're not really going to notice and if we did want to fix it again we can just nudge it across a smidge so that it looks more like it's aligned there we go that's fine okay on to the next problem next thing is we want to add a bit of uh, flare to the side of the screen we're not shooting with a lens a lens hood so there's going to be a little bit of bleed through of light on the, this corner of the screen here so we'll select a nice white going to grab our brush tool make it fairly big we'll keep with our 50% opacity 50% flow and then we can just turn that on and then we can drop the opacity down a little bit just to give us that and what I think I want to do now actually is before I do that I'm gonna actually stamp visible so I'm going to a visible layer stamp visible and then I'm actually going to do some bloom so we're gonna do a threshold adjustment on this layer like so and then I'm gonna come up to here so that there's only the brightest of bright pixels including some of her chest and face like so and we're gonna to go to filter blur give it a nice big uh, Gaussian blur I think will work better Gaussian blur there and we'll come up until we've got a decent level of bloom that will work then we'll pop this one onto screen and as you can see now that's given us a nice bit of bloom on her face and across the front of the cloth on her chest so that's another cool effect that we've added now we can pop this back in like so now because we're the direction that we're shooting in a direction of the light and it's very unlikely there's going to be anything in the way of god rays because there's the light source is almost behind us you tend not to see any but we can add some kind of dust to this so what you will need to do for this one is actually download some kind of dust overlay and i will just go into my folder and i will find one that i've already got if you haven't got one you can just literally search for dust overlay and you'll find one here we go that's one like that just stretch it so that it fits the screen like so cool and then if we go over the top of everything on this one and then we go change this to screen and then we can drop the opacity right down so that it's just little bits of debris in the air and nothing else there we go that's given us another cool effect on there that just adds a little bit of realism so the last thing i want to do is do one of my signature moves which is a, a weird way of putting this but it kind of is at this point so we're going to go with a new layer we're going to go opacity 100 percent or as close to it and we're just going to go across there with red then we're going to go across with green and then we're going to go across with blue like so stick this into soft light and then drop the opacity right down so that it just gives it a little bit of a colorful tinge but nothing over the top nothing overwhelming look barely noticeable but it does the trick all right guys i think that about does it for this video thanks ever so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye <laughs>